What's up everyone? This is Erica with Hooking You Up and today we're doing a basic bow. I'm kind of obsessed with these bows ever since I did my daisy and sunflower bows, hair bows. If you haven't seen them, I'll leave them in the description so you can go check them out or I'll have them on the screen somewhere so you can go click at the end of this video. But I decided to do a basic version because not everything has to be sunflowers and daisies on my channel. Is that right? That's right. Anyways, what you're going to need are just some a few simple ingredients. I'm using lupin threads. Used to be Craft Smarts. Oh well, um, because I love this yarn. It's super soft. Uh, it's in the color. Where's rose? Rose pink. Okay. This is all the information you need. And I'm going to be using a 6.5 millimeter hook as always. Tapestry needle. If you don't have it, you can still do this project, but I guarantee you a tapestry needle will save your life. A regular hair tie and some scissors. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by making a slip knot and making a foundation chain of 51. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you've made your foundation chain of 51, we're going to skip that first chain or that first stitch and we're going to double crochet in the second stitch from the hook. That's one. We're going to double crochet in the next stitch from the hook and we're going to repeat this double crocheting in each stitch until you meet where you started okay and don't forget that very last stitch chain two flip your work and now we're working back down the other side so we're going to skip that first stitch and double crochet in the second stitch from the hook. That'll keep this nice and straight. Double crochet in the next and double crochet in each stitch until you meet back where we started. This last one will look a little funny but don't forget it, okay? You want your project nice and even on the sides. Working that last double crochet. Chain two, flip your work, And now we have two rows of double crochet done. We're going to continue this until we have six rows. So we wanna do four more rows, okay? Making sure to chain two after each round and flipping your work. Okay, so repeat this for four more rows. It's, this part won't even look like a regular double crochet stitch. You still have to make a double crochet in these chain two spaces. Just like that. That'll keep it nice and straight on the sides. Okay. So I just finished my sixth row. So I'm going to chain one and cut off a long tail. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in my tapestry needle and attach it to my tail. I'm going to line up my sides just like that and I'm going to weave in the sides trying to make it as even as possible so you're going to do this all the way down Okay. You can tie these two tails in a double knot because we're going to cut them anyways. Just like that. Okay, and we're done with the body piece.
Okay, now for the tail, we're going to make a slip knot and make a chain of 55. When you have your chain of 55, you're going to skip that first stitch and double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Double crochet in the next chain from the hook. And double crochet, double crochet in each stitch until you meet where you started. Once you've made your double crochet in each space, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and you're going to skip that first stitch and slip stitch in that second space. And then slip stitch in each stitch until you make your way back to where you started. Even that last stitch, it'll look a little funny, but you want to slip stitch through it. Chain one cut a tail and now we have our tail done so now all we have to do is our center for this part right here and then we can start connecting everything so we're going to make a slip knot and chain 11 no let's chain 12 Okay, double crochet in the second chain from the hook, double crochet in the next chain from the hook, excuse me, the next stitch, and double crochet in each stitch until you end up back where we started. All right, now we're going to chain two and flip our work, just kind of like our body. We're going to skip that first stitch and double crochet in the second stitch. That'll keep the side nice and straight. Double crochet in the next stitch and make a double crochet in each stitch until you end the round. Chain two, once you finish the round, flip your work and do this once more, skipping that first stitch, double crochet in the second stitch, and then double crochet in each stitch in the round. And don't forget to double crochet in that last chain two space. Doesn't look like a stitch, but we want our pieces to be nice and straight, so we're going to double crochet in it, okay? So, as you see, I'm double crocheting in each stitch almost to the end. Okay, and with that last one, you want to double crochet in that chain two space. Chain one. And now we can cut off a long tail. So now the fun part begins. So flip your work. You want to make sure that that crease where we sewed is that's the, going to be the back side and it needs to be directly in the middle. So you can fold in half to find that middle, but you want to make sure it's directly in the middle. Okay. So you're going to attach your tapestry needle. To your tail and we're going to put our hair tie right in the middle like that okay so going through the hair tie because that's how we're going to connect our hair tie sorry I need to stand up for this okay now we're going to find the corner on this side and pull
you can adjust it later, but what we're doing is weaving in the two sides of the center while keeping the hair tie in the middle. So you wanna to try to do it as evenly as possible. Sewing the sides might be the hardest part of this whole tutorial just because it has to be kind of precise for it to look nice and even in the end. Okay, so that's how it should look. You can see my hair tie is stuck. And then I just kind of double knot it here. Okay. And weave it through. Then you can cut. So now our hair tie is attached. Okay, so this is what our front is looking like. Super cute. Now to add the tail, super easy. We're going to flip our work, bring that hair tie up, and we're just going to bring it right under that centerpiece. And you could put the bottoms together just so you can kind of line it up and make sure that it's even before we sew. Okay, so now we're going to bring, we're going to cut off a long tail and attach it to our tapestry needle. Okay, you wanna make sure the hair tie is lined up in the center crease of the tail and then because we're going to sew it all together like this, okay? And you're going to be going through the tail like this to cinch it together, essentially with the hair tie underneath, okay? Because that's how we're going to keep it closed. So we're going through the bottom. You're going to go through the first... See, I'm going through one at the top of the double crochets underneath. I'm putting, as I do that, I'm putting the hair tie underneath. That's how I'm going to cinch it through, you see? And then I'm going to put it through the top, just like that. And then up and away. Okay, and then I'm gonna go down the top side like that. And now I've creased it all together. You can do that one more time if you'd like. It'll keep it all together. Okay. And then you can just double knot it here. Like that. Okay, and you can sew in those tail ends if you would like to hide it. Cut, cut. And now our hair tie is steady and doesn't move. And our tail is attached so it doesn't come out. You see that? It won't come out. It's all attached underneath. Okay, so now you could just tie these tails at the bottom. And there you have it, guys. Look how cute this bow is. Super cute, super easy. You could pull this out some more and adjust it to your liking. 
super, super cute. This works up super quick. Literally, I would say under 30 minutes if you're a fast crocheter, or under an hour if you're a, a slower crocheter, but works up super quick. It's all double crochet, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make a bunch and share them with me, and hit the subscribe button, you guys. Leave a like. Uh, comment in the comments below a heart so I know that you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.